In this video, we see an overflowing river. We glimpse some beautiful rapids, and we get a bird's eye view of a bird. Today, Mick and I are exploring a community trail in the western end of the Sudbury region, and we try to get close to a small set of rapids that caught my eye a couple of years ago. We're following a trail along a shoreline of a river that will lead us north into unfamiliar territory. It's springtime, so the river is running higher than usual. Some beautiful white pine in here. The trail we're on is not well traveled, so we aren't likely to see anyone else out here. So this is Sunday and it's early afternoon in the last week of March in 2024. And Mick and I are exploring some trails. And I know there's a small set of rapids just further up that I couldn't get to last winter. But now that the snow's mostly gone this winter, I'm going to give it another shot. I might get lucky, might get turned around, we'll see. Our trail eventually turned to a direction that we did not want to go. So to get to these rapids, it meant we had to do some bushwhacking. Okay, I think our next mission, Mick, is we're going to uh, hang a right. We're going to see if we can get up to that next hill over there. Here's an unexpected little structure. So just down in the valley, there's a creek that leads into the river, and uh, we'll see what happens. I see another little cairn up ahead. I like to uh, use as my marker. I'm gonna head that way. All right, I think we're at that little creek or what's left of it. Doesn't look too intimidating here. But it does open up later on, so I'm not going in here foolishly. We made it across the creek without any difficulty. However, we ran into another obstacle. Thick bush and deeper snow prevented us from going any further. So we decided to have lunch here, high up on a rock that offered a good view of the rapids in the distance. But still wanting a closer look at the rushing water, I turned to technology to help us out. To my knowledge, these particular rapids do not have a name, but they look like a great spot to try some fishing later on in the year. Despite not making it to the rapids ourselves, Mick and I still enjoyed our time beside the river. And we're surprised more people don't know about this gorgeous spot. Well that's it for this one, thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video.